You may know how to clean and maintain your firearm, but what about your suppressor? Well, today we're gonna go over how to clean your suppressor, how often you should clean your suppressor, and some tips and tricks on how to maintain it so that it has a long life. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we're going to be going over a little bit of everything to do with maintaining and cleaning your suppressors. So the first thing that we're going to start with is knowing your suppressor. So the first thing we need to look at is what is my suppressor? Is it a rimfire? Is it a pistol? Is it a high powered rifle? This is going to be the number one thing on how often and how you should clean it. Number two is going to be what is the material of my suppressor? Is it stainless steel? Is it aluminum? Is it titanium? Because these are going to make a big difference on how to clean the suppressor. And then finally, how many rounds do I actually have through it? A lot of people like to say they have thousands when maybe they only have hundreds. And we're going to talk about how often you should be cleaning different suppressors. So first thing, let's take a look at material. So the first can I have here is a Dead Air Nomad TI. So this is a titanium suppressor. Why is it a big deal what the material is? Well, with titanium, they can get hot and they can withstand different chemicals or different things like that. So the different ways that we talk about cleaning today may not affect a titanium suppressor. Maybe you have an aluminum suppressor. Well, an aluminum suppressor, you may need to think about these different methods. And then if you have stainless steel, you're probably not going to have to worry about them either. Then we need to look at the finishes. Do I have a Cerakote, a paint finish? Is it nitrided? Is it bare? You need to look at all of these things because different chemicals can react differently to suppressors. So the first thing you need to do is check with the manufacturer to see if they have any recommendations so that you're not ruining the finish or the material of the suppressor. Next, let's look at how often you should be cleaning them. Now, if you have a 22 suppressor, these probably need to be cleaned more often and you're probably putting more rounds down range because it's cheaper and an absolute blast to shoot a suppressed 22. So with a 22, you may know that it's a lot easier to clean and we'll go over that here in just a little bit. But if you have a 22 suppressor, you may wanna be cleaning it a lot more than others. A couple hundred rounds, thousand rounds, a couple thousand for sure. With 22 ammo, if you have a lead round nose, a lot of that is going to stay inside of your can. A lot of it. So that's why they don't recommend shooting 22 long rifle through cans that can't be taken down or cleaned easily because it can seriously build up. Now looking at handgun suppressors, maybe a little bit less. If your can can be taken down easily like this Dead Air Odessa 9, you can clean it more often, but you don't have to. So a few thousand rounds is more than enough. Then looking at a rifle can, obviously these can't be taken down as easily and it's not getting as much buildup as your rimfire. So with a rifle can, you can go thousands of rounds without having to clean it. Honestly, you don't want to over clean a suppressor. If you over clean it, then it's not going to be as quiet. As crazy as that seems, the more buildup that you have in your suppressor, the quieter it's gonna be to an extent. So I would say with a rifle suppressor, 5.56, 30 caliber, every few thousand rounds, you don't have to do it every few hundred rounds, let alone every time you go to the range, wait a few thousand rounds, a thousand, two thousand, and then start to clean it then. So now that we know kind of how often to clean, let's look at some of the methods of cleaning different suppressors. So the type of suppressor that you have is going to dictate really what's the best way of cleaning it. If you have a rim fire suppressor like the one we have here, that is a mono core design so it can be taken down and cleaned easily, you're probably going to do this first method. So the first method that I'm going to recommend is very simple. Getting some type of cleaning solution, whether that be a lead remover, whether that be a foaming bore cleaner, and then getting some brushes. Taking your solution, applying it to the can, and then just using a brush to, well, 
remove all the residue is very easy with a rim fire suppressor that comes apart because you can obviously get to the inside where all of that buildup is going. With the Dead Air Odessa 9, this is also a can that comes apart so you can get to the individual baffles. Getting to these individual baffles makes it very easy to clean. So just applying some type of solution and then actually taking a bronze or a plastic brush and you know getting it off by hand is going to be one of the easy options. Now, when you look at a can like this Gemtech 9 and this Nomad 30, they don't come apart. You can't get to the individual baffles, so you can't actually scrub them. So there's two different methods that I recommend. One being an ultrasonic cleaner. This is the easiest way to clean a can. So if you're going to be cleaning your gun a lot or you do reloading, a ultrasonic cleaner is a great investment. Being able to take this can, drop it into some warm water with a solution, whether that be simple green purple because it does not damage aluminum, or Hornady gun cleaner or ultrasonic cleaners, this can be an easy way. Now again, this is where you need to check with the material and the finish. An ultrasonic cleaner can take off the finish on some cans. So if you have a paint finish, check with the manufacturer to see what they recommend. And then another way that you can use is grab something like this Hoppies bore cleaner. Um, this is a foaming bore cleaner. I like to use this because I can spray it inside of my cans, let it sit for an extended period of time, then spray it out with another solution, compressed air, and that will clean it really well also. All right, so finally, maintaining your cans. So now you have cleaned your can, what should you do? Well, this kind of depends on the material. If you have a stainless, a titanium, a you know aluminum, you probably don't have to worry about rust a lot, but it can happen in some instances. So you wanna make sure that your can is dry and then you're using a little bit of oil in certain locations. Now, if you have a direct thread or a QD attachment on your can, then this is where you can apply some anti-seize or a little bit of oil. I like to apply just a touch of anti-seize to my direct thread attachment so that I know it's not going to get carbon locked on and then be an absolute pain in the ass to get off. That's pretty much it guys. It's very simple, very self-explanatory, but you wanna make sure you're doing these steps to ensure that your suppressors have a long life. You want to clean them every few hundred or thousands of rounds, depending on the can. Then you want to dry it. Then you want to maintain it. This is going to be done with a little bit of oil or a little bit of anti-seize on your threads. Make sure that they stay clean, that they stay dry, and they will last a long, long time. Hope you guys liked today's video. Hope that it helps you with cleaning and maintaining your suppressors because they are kind of a pain in the ass to get. So you need to take care of them. You want them to last a lifetime, if not multiple lifetimes. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button and check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.